I am finally done with my clock. Hey guys, Shock here. So I'm done making changes to my clock. Let's see some of the final details, what I change and why I change. One of the thing I made is I put this screw to lock the front gears and hands. And they come on the front frame and then I can tighten up that screw to secure this. That allows me to have a smaller piece in front of the gears. Now the change I made, the main rods at the four corners, they also, it's a metric 12 at the end, two flat sides so it can be printed flat on the bed. The middle part is a cylinder that has a snug fit on the frame so it aligns all the different frames together. I made this blob. This is a metric 12 rod but it's flat that way the blob doesn't turn. I can also print this flat on the bed in one piece really easy. Connect to the other part at the top. Just put a rod the right length Pendulum, it's a two second pendulum, so about one meter. The blob, it's hollow, and I can put some steel balls in the blob to make it heavier if you need. I made this nice handle to rewind, this rotate. This gear comes here. I'm going to show you there's a lock here, so I cannot turn back backwards and only go forward. Here we can see the side view and the lock. So I made that frame with a V V shape so it makes it more rigid. And then the gear again zoom in so close up on the gear. You can see it locks going backwards and only rewind forward. The only thing is at the end I still have to unlock it. The escape wheel I tapered the end so there's a smaller area of friction between the escape wheel and the anchor. That was the weight on the first generation. That's the weight on this one. So quite an improvement. I think that's two and a half kilo. I noticed that when I lift up the weight, the clock is still running because of the maintain power device in here. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> when I made this shell, it has a bottom cover, that's a hole, you can put a pin and a string, then fill it up with Fill up with steel balls, that's about 800 grams, that will be 1.6 kilo, add another one, it's 2.4, should work for this clock, and then there's a cover on top, once you're happy you can just glue all the parts together, or go to a tire shop, get some lead, it will be half the size than steel since the lead is heavier or gold if you can afford it. <laughs> I'm going to put those last pieces on that clock. I'm going to show you, do a quick show how, how it comes together. Let's do it. I'm going to start with the front with this frame. The reason I changed the front is you see here the gear is the sticks out the most so I wanted something shorter so I can stand the clock on a bench like this 
Okay, let's do it. Put some blocks. So I can push those out. You can see the bearings here. So those two steel rods pinch the shaft going through. That gives a clutch to adjust the arrow. I'm going to test it. Okay, whoops. works. I now have some clowns here so I can f flip it over and put it flat on the bench. So this is the old one. This is the new one I want to put in. Stronger. Make sure my pins go in the hole. There's a notch here for the pendulum to swing and hold. Okay, it's all done. That's the one side. That's the other side. Top view. Bottom view. So I have that little T, so that little T can come here between those two frames. So if the clock hooked up, then I can put a hook here. I could loop the string. That way I can double the runtime. So here it is, the final version of my clock. I'm going to be working on some instructions and and then I'll be posting the files soon. So that took quite a while. I, I always I was always finding new small little things I needed to improve and also the process of learning to use FreeCAD, getting how to fix some <laughs> problems along the way. This was the most challenging part to do with FreeCAD, I almost went back to Fusion 360, doing threads and scaling them to the right size for 3D printing. But FreeCAD is great for gears. Hope you liked my projects. Stay tuned for some more. There's have plenty more ideas. This is just a next clock coming up. So please like, subscribe and I'll see you in next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.